the demo Mary Stops Uganda. I'm sure when you hear the word Mary Stops Sichipia, they've been around for quite some time, over 30 years. Nabagezako kuweleza na dala monsonga ezabachara issues relating to health kubachara bya kuzala e mbuto zivu demo how are you helped to club anti bakubuda abuda no kutereza mondeyo so you are ready to to hold whatever else that comes into your body nyabi dala nga dr wage no kubanga to lida but first good morning good morning friend to sanya so kulaba ora bikabulo nje mu covid muno mu kisobola mutya i mean yes so Mary stops news of Kubanza and see Niza Kokatano. Manichi and again the service Jenna Funayo, that's all I know. So, what else do you do? So, Mary stops uh, is an international NGO. To be part of the Mary stops partnership, early present in 37 countries and headquartered in London. One in Uganda, we have been here for more than 30 years. And operations are fezili mu Uganda yon nabuli kasonda jo kebeda. Mm. Osanga yo mari stops mungeri emu obendala. Olusi osanga bide bimotuka ya febita ambula bie tuite bia outrage. Mm. Bie 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 gena mchalo nevi sensei daba chala. Nevi Ulo minu onyaji. Nevi minu onyaba chala. Vatu usako ya. family planning o kusinga. E, Tukula gana ne maruariro ga government ya gasinga. Tugabeda mu 75% of them. Na motu beda munga tu supporting a family planning service provision to call again any private sector to in a franchise budget a blue star it about jack up and look at sanga because i'm going to call blue stango manya mary stop standard services are in those places to lina clinics that for coming at tano those are you know what about you yeah yes nancy the coming at tano nearly now what we know maybe that we're not going to go within kampala within uganda okay and within kampala we have three of them uh, but most recently, we have opened up the Mary Stops Hospital and Maternity mm -hmm. Center. Okay. And it is located at the Forest Mall, Lugogo. And doing, really, doing the same, of course. Doing more, doing more than what we've done. Our clients have spoken for a long time. Gatuva mm. Kolira family planning, Tuba Kolira Antinento, Neoba Tukokuzala. Gatuva Gamba Tugendo Zaidegu. Kati Yona be in-house. Mm. So, tuwa galo kuwa ngo mchala, tutambula na yoro gendo uwele wona, mm. okuwa periods uwe zita handika, basa ujiwa ita menak, mm. netu ita mu family planning, netu ita mu post abortion care, netu ita mu infertility, mm. inonya mwana, pakate netu kuzalisa, netu kane ku menopause, wachala banji bata wana nebi zibu vya menopause. Hey, oh, 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 mm. not even talk. Yes, <laughs> so we want to address uh, the All whole issues. of the woman's needs. Oh, okay. Mm. Kali, Forest Mall, which side? Forest Kati, Mall, Forest Mall, or Jidaba, Walo Katan, the main entrance to Forest Mall. So, Kole Kede, your shop right in the game. Eh, just before the fuel station, it's the Forest Mall entrance. Wopo Yingida Boat, just there. Vajita Block C, Kazimbe Ke, 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 So, as you get in right there, all the four floors okay. are for the hospital. Okay. Kati, wano mo COVID mono. Um, Jaga to get new cool issues, uh, especially now that we are paying a lot of attention to this one particular disease. Abalala, Ebidala Bio, Bitam Debitan Adela, when it comes to women's issues. I've seen quite a number of women die of mm. COVID 19. Mm. Simani Rachi, whether this, this um, current variant is Tawanya, is it with COVID, Zina, direct effect? On pregnant women, yes, yeah. is, is so, that true? Yes, uh, the first thing is about COVID. It's a new disease. So as scientists, we are learning. We can say that to eager. The variant is so kamwaji da bangi tabakadi, but pressure to carry a bavukanga bari bulunge. Ino variant here is the mwana muto mukuru bonye kola chi eba kuba. Now what we have observed is, first of all, for now, but such we are equally susceptible. Now we've observed that our chala are bimbuto. Nadala embute nkulu, mbafuna COVID, they are at higher risk of complications. Embuto um, zivamu, nkulu, uh, and they get a, a scary condition called abrupt show. Eh? Abrupt. Placenta, neta, ngomwana achari mochi, 
Yes, and, and that's usually the cause of death. Lots of complications around that. So yes, COVID-19. So usually we lose the baby and the mother. Yes, the ma usually the baby first, and, and if you don't hurry, then the mother as well. And then, of course, we are not yet sure whether the vaccine is applicable for, for women. Right now, the guidance in Uganda is abachala mm tukolechi. Tubareke. Tubareke. So, labanga bafu nabali no buzibu, atete mbawa vaccine, so it is a difficult situation. Kati mumbede no chuchino kola kunyikida antenatal care. Ministry of Health, ne WHO, egamba eight antenatal care visits. Eight. Eight. Throughout the nine months. Through the nine months. That's literally a visit every month. The importance of antenatal care is you monitor closely and you anticipate problems. Then So mumbere ne ya COVID when we and extra call to women. Katinga bali mumu galo teba gaya lili da antinento. Bali no kufuna. Yes. So do your outreach. Um, is it teams? Do they go? So we look over same. to say, but mm. I, I can't find my way to the hospital or the clinic. Mm. Can you guys find me here, Monia? But temporarily, you know, it's visible. We are not something not right. Is it possible? Uh, it's possible, and and also what JK we have been engaged in a structure as a village health team system. Abam bakola pregnancy mapping. We muchalo oru to muchalo ba mumani wali. So they can help nebakuwa some form of pass. Mukasera can no sobolo gena maluari. Most hospitals in Kampala are giving a bit of a letter. Na e problem ni oru to to muchalo oru to taba muruade. So okujonga afunye chizibu, ainzo kuzanti ndivulu njina abeleyo. Na inga botu gami mumbele ni ya COVID, mm. it is critical for them to go for antenatal care, even when they feel okay. Mm. They can get their appropriate uh, passes. Na ba, na ba sirikale no kumakubo, wawo wa mchalo wawo wuto, teka wuzabi nji. Mm. Kumanga bama nye nsonge, nti nkulu. Eh, so wawo chala veta aga, emirundi munana at mm. least. Mo, that is literally once every month. Okay. Mm. Tuina issue, <coughs> jenja gato ogire konyo, eh, uh, Post pre prenatal, vegeta prenatal, mm. before mm. <laughs> yes. you get pregnant, mm. Mm. even the first trimester, mm. there is uh, uh, some precaution you're supposed to take that people don't pay attention to. Mm. And then when it comes to folic mm. taking, mm. Okay, people remember to go for antenatal. Ngalinga mu fourth trim, I mean mm, trimester. Naba ngate ai na pini jinyo bi andwa devi omugaso to the baby. Guye ti se ngabi andwa devi koli wa much earlier. Yes. So, so why should I go for a, a, a checkup before even getting pregnant? So you know, for us at Maristops, our mission is children by choice and not chance. Chitegeza. Chetu agala muto kugwe kubugwe. Chetu agala wero lize we sali de wanti kakati omwaka kuno. Nienda kuzala. So kubanga, wero oleza, ebitu ni wenobi kolachi, obiteke kabulu unji. So, not... Unfortunately, it's the other way. Unfortunately, it's itu guwako. Gine kakati wutu wala kugudeko. The moment you miss your period, you should see a doctor. The moment you miss your period, the first antenatal visit ayo, the moment you miss your period, the first antenatal, it is very critical. It's so ka e confirming anti olirubutu. You could miss your period for any other reason. Hmm. A child could be the allocating a pregnancy. Very critical. And that was not to funanyo bachala abadina ectopics. Ectopics are life threatening. Om chala, or but ulga nevera monseke no rabi kalabis we pa omwana nafa no seke no rose. No seke wobaba bata food day or seke ne rufa. Chokari akazala yakana kamwana in the butafa. Um the pregnancy. So mana woman takes on um chala, um chala in zo butafa ne or seke ne rumufa. Chokaka ana in Ioka mo vata nazar. I tell one you gana twa galavana. Twa galok salavana. So it is critical of kolachi or kuroke tinga or buto. For to watch twa muri to rose and with it's 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 natural take it's a given on one in a kujanatula mu uterus. We never think about the child settling in a in a, in a, in a there are so many things. Yeah. So many of us have had 
STIs and all of these things. So to be any adhesions mo seke seke to zidi clean. Mm. So akatu kaba katambula kagenda je kalino genda ne kalalira. Eh um evidala sometimes it's just sheer hard luck sometimes amacha but would genda tukula eh mm. you, you know you're more likely to have complications as you grow. So it is just right bo lu missing a period no genda. Ne ba locating ne ba confirming olubuto ne ba locating we ruli ne batandi caprinato vitamin zezo zogami antineto mm. folic acid is critical for brain development twali agala kuzala mwana musiru omwana ali ne bizibu akuzatia yes aina deformation mm. bibelawo no gama ti entege kaya mukama nenze nageza ako so abachala bali no kunyikirire no nabine byokubereka no seze ba no sika no bikola ko bikola ki dagala jeriri bana yo kusese ma there are so many things that can be done. Medicine has advanced so much. Into it, we are going to go. No, we are going to go. We are going to go. We are going to go. We are going to to go. We are going to Mm -hmm. So, but you need support. You can go to Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, tutunulida mwana, location, wali, tutunulida, are you even mm -hmm. eligible? System mm -hmm. yoyona, before, tuogede ku, nga uchitegede, you miss your period, they've confirmed, yes, it's a pregnancy. But before, nga sinaba kurufu, na nga mungongo wa nga nchiri just arinze, by 2022, I must have a baby. So, I come to you, Mary Stops. To turn the kid out. To turn choice, Castobango, you have chosen. Hey, more signings. Uh -uh. <laughs> choice from Chala Chat to Sabacha to Moa. Was Avanti, Jagara Kum, Ramonia, Keta, Ronga to Moa, Kayud, Was Avanti, the Ronga to Kaja, Katinga to turn the cool gendo. Gabaku would eat at Wumura, have sex at least so many times, you know, relax. You can do a bit of, if you've had a history of infertility, they can screen and, and find out where challenges are. There are so many causes of infertility. Mm. Uh, sometimes it's hormonal, sometimes it is physical. Ovaries have shut down, over uterus, myomas, mm. uh, it is unable to hold. Avachala, Avalabuta, Rufuna, Rubatukangam, 12, 16. Weeks in Galuvam. 12, 16 weeks in Galuvam. That is a weakness in the cervix. Now you, so there are so many things. So you talk to the woman, learn her history, identify where the risks are, and begin to support. Mm. For Ugandan women, many times pregnancy happens naturally. But for some, they need support. Which percentage is that? I they don't have the support. number of head nayenga, but oh no. I know that to chulida nyo, never will get a get a new majority of Ugandans are rural. Eighty five percent of us to a little bit of the Tanga, I know Piazza Balongo, Nana, Avachala, but I got to Zala. In fact, our fertility rate is one of the highest eh, at five point four. Mm. I take movie tuned with Munga, more West, more West Nile, the Mukaramo Java, busy at Abana Munana. That's the average fertility rate. Nang get if you get to Chuka, to get a more fissy, to Zala, to Kuze. Sometimes we need support to get pregnant. And it's a journey. Mm. It can happen quickly. India Jacoba at them before the end of the show. The number is 706-14-1998. Yeah, I think that's it. Yesterday, Dr. Karo Sechim Pitwogera Biabachara at the why you must go and be checked. Ngatona Bakuzara. It is very, very important. Because there are complications. But it can create an emergency anytime. Mm -hmm. And when it does, we are likely to lose you, the holder, and the baby you're holding. Mm -hmm. So it's important. government. <laughs> yes. Together, we family planning. Our child, Dr. Bemorugunya Nyoku. Um, family planning. Go Jacob in a moon is a young cause away to young as a Zayan Kazizaya cause But also, I'm a Jiko and I took a Galakuzar. I'll never go and get them secondary infertility. Nano Yoru to me, our Jinda Beach, Garucha was at Annie Kachim, Bank of Empiso, Bante Kayaka Weta, Bank of Wavers, Bidaka Bianganya, and eventually get Gambo. It starts moving around. Family planning is bad. Mm. So, where is the issue? 
if there is any. Yeah, so, so as we said earlier, f infertility or difficulty in conceiving is caused by many things. Now, yeah, family planning methods is, you know, you, you go through counseling mm. so that you make an informed choice. Different methods have different rates of return of fertility. Mm. So, for example, condom. Condom, you know, fertility in your or a manino I think fertility returns immediately because it's not hormonal. Mm. Now the hormonal methods, the injection. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm, just <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Mm, but I, I think a lot of it is mental. Mm, a lot of it is here. Mm. There are hormonal methods, that's the injection, the implant. Eh? Uh, the rate of return of fertility takes time. So the, the injection is a three-month injection. So the estimation is the first So the I must get pregnant, it may not happen. Mm. You have to wait for the hormone to wear out of the body. Well, later implant, there's a three-year implant and a five-year implant, while you're near four years. For some women, when they remove it, fertility is instant. But really, for the average woman, it takes time for those hormones to wear out. Chubula wabolonda method of family planning, wakubuza. Kakati otege sotia, opulaninga kudamu dio kuzala. Abanu uli na yuba mikali. So kusinzi da kubo damu ebi buze ebyo. Mm. Ne basubo lo kukolachi o kukulo ondela. So there's no reason why omchala planning kukuzala next year. Ato muteka mu implant ya five years. Wa next year jaku tuka avele nga liku. Nenga okay. you know the, the deep of hormones has happened. Nenga bo tuoge de chidala. And there are very many other things that contribute to infertility. Family planning is an easy scapegoat. Or you know. Yo kukamati. E ya chango kwe kwa secho. Mm. E na yenga. The best thing is assessment. Family planning has been here for so many years. Singa yari gano kuzala abachala kuzala. So many years. The kule mbegwa jajangi. Yeah. Yeah. And different forms. They were all in there. But for example, Marriage Stops International. And, and we're not the pioneers of family planning. But we, we are part of it. It has been in service for 45 years now. And we've been distributing family planning services globally. So, singa family planning yari gana ba chala ukuzala, bana singa ba tu gara oda. Ni walu nsonge ndala nyingi. So, the important thing is counseling. Um chala ukutula na ino manya life plan ye. Then you choose a method that fits uh, within. Uh, okay. Yes. Walu walu nga atege dazayo gedena anji faida. Ni mganza, bunanga kawecha kankola bulu nji nyo. Na sigala anti buwenti, buwenti. That never again of what Muduadio. Jagala Kaweta. Mamma Toba could have you Bolida. Jagala Kaweta. So when on Paka Toba to camp, and they were. You won't go wing a body. But I think the best person always to advise is the doctor you have run to. Yes, and, and not really for the doctor to advise, but the doctor to support you to make an informed choice. It is true, Abachala again and you know, what is trending. Whatever mm. Janga or Gambinga, Abanicha Yagala. Nibo gina no kebeda life plan ye. Ngulu si chaya gala techikola chi. Techituka. But then you provide information. Wale mirako. Ngomu wa chaya gala. Because the, the, the thing is choice. And being client center. Aiza no kujanga ye gambi. Ye bo lidi dena gamba. Before three years. Sa gala mwana. Ela ni ajene mkate kama ka three years. Kati na funa umwenzi na mwagala nyonyo na mkase. Nja gala mwana vichi. That is a month and a half. I mean a year and a, and a half later. Mm. Mm. Yes, most of his methods are reversible. Actually, it's just both uh, that is permanent. All of these methods are reversible. The counseling of Muchala Jafuna, Jano Gama, Kako, Yanga, Kajamu, Nakarigende, Kabumin Kiriza, give it time. WHO defines infertility as failure to conceive after consistently having sex for 12 months. Walua ba mungo mwami wo oba vugalori umulaba kumuru di gumu mumwez eh ajanga ne wajiba kumi ne nge 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 jiri ya we said that you know wrong timing and ne we siwa kufabili kufani iti alese vizu that's why it's good to have a more comprehensive consideration of the problem no sovolo kutegele bwemute kama kantu na kamiake sato 
mumwaka gumune mpira nganze njagala kuchusa mbirozo bya mm. njagala rubuto nzijale mukajamu yes it's wastage yeah, but it it's is wastage okay. of resources but it is your body your choice your future it it has to be client centered family planning service provision has to be rights best cuz tota dika okulowolezo mchala nga papa so dikozeche ojise so mchala alina every right okujana gama ne chusiza na gama kati mutekemu ka kati mujemu but if counseling is effective likely muja 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 ku finding an appropriate middle ground yes na eta china any effect nti nateka mwa kantu ka miyake satwe tano mu miezi monana i wanted out no, Kachina. No. Somebody was telling me that that is a family planning method that is really hormonal. It can take you double the years, double the period for them to wear out Mumbirigo. If it is a five years um, method, it may take you not less than five years for it to wear out. No, <laughs> yeah, that, that's a total myth. That's a myth. It's a total myth. You know, once we remove the method, the the hormonal depot begins to roll down. And and if you have fallen having, uh, you know, our average Ugandan woman, Gabo Nkugami, or Mujamu method, one, two months in Gajambo, as a continental. Avachara, Betula, and Biareo, eh? Or Mujamu method, Gaba Kolachi, Gabazala. I think it is important to consider difficulty in having children more broadly. And so, Gaziba Ninja, Tabo Tazi to know it as on. Or go vegetarian, so you don't address the real what, the real problem. Jagen no government family planning in a as a kid STIs. Or Jagen no government family planning in the Nabana Vadi Jamu West to after an unsafe abortion. So it is important to uh, to look at at the broad picture. Mm. But family planning, once once you reverse the method, and that's why they are called reversible contraceptives. Once you reverse the method, it's just a matter of time that fertility returns, not 10 years. The time is variable, depending on the method and the woman, but not 10 years. Mm. The three, six months, usually fertility has returned. Okay. Nete, she's talking about these other effects as in Zokchusa kutuka kumichalo. Mulala yina nataina family planning method yona jakosa. For example, STIs. Zize, and is causing some mess within your system. Nete, she's stopping. So along the way, you may apply a year, three years, for example, but as long as there is multiple partners, mm -hmm. or your partner is using different mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. so what you kill could you can to your system area Exactly. And that's really critical and that's why we talk about dual protection. And it's not enough that you have a you know, an IUD or a coil. If you feel you are exposed to, you know, some form of a sexual network, add on a condom so that you address that. All the STIs, including HIV. Mm. 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 STIs mm. 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 And then uh, there's an issue of our little girls being started on, on family planning. Mm. Why do I find that dangerous? Mm. I, I hear you, Farid. I'm a parent as well. I, I wouldn't, I mean, it would hurt. But the, the thing about little girls is what defines a little girl? What's the Kubanga, omwana jia, na wamiaka kuminesa tu, galirubutu. Na umutuala, na aluzala, na azala abalo. No muzayeka, jiyarufuni de without a contraceptive method, what do you expect? No lulala. Yes. So so I think the thing with with Avana Abato is context. Context, context, context. What is context? Umana mutunuri de yenga bwari. Um umuyambe oksalao echi muyamba. Well abana ba fe abali well protected, everything is fine, abu bareke. Well umana kugama anti nzendi waka, bega ni step father wange wichira neva kaku. Na gamba mama we, haka nabu banji. Hmm. Mama we yenjini na amwele tela mkrinti niti mbabuli. Tetujia kuzara chintu chetu tategela mwini ambe. Uli ya atuguli le mele, hmm. tetu ina jetukulachi, jetulaga. Then you provide a method. So, it, these girls are in different contexts. Omulala mama wa msindi kukuru wa mana yichiru. Bafune choku. Yeah, yes. These things happen. They happen. Avala la miaka kumineta ano. They are married. Katigoga ma 15 years. They are married. 
so the, the, the important thing about the age of access is context. They exist in varied contexts. So you can't just say a blanket no or yes, no. Bulimwana mutunuli de mumbera ye omuyambi wali. Okay. 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 Do you advise on your child as they are issue about the other Ravana Venga? I was a Zavana, for example. Nanga was a little bit of a man. I was a Kubanga C section, God Zibadi natural baths, never was C section. Nanga the Baweze for Nanga Bulka said a year at Ukayo, a very much emergency for all the pregnancies. Katio Mumugam, you advise, can we try to stop you? You know what? So, there are two things, as you said. There's, there's when a woman's life is in danger. But ultimately, she has to consent. We don't have a right to take but, away but someone's life. But you two can identity. suggest it. Yes, you can suggest that. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? So you would have a conference, probably preferably before Kuzala, no mwaminga mwali ni mutesa, na mwaga antipa nange chimala chikolechi, chimale. Having said that, I observe in our culture, fertility is a bargaining chip for women. Bargaining, anti uluzungu ronji. Bargaining, anti umchala anga nabana atekola, watu linabi okolachi. Mm, so it's 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 tricky that conference in Zimu. So I saw a lot of people who are going to be in the same way. They are going to be in the same way. They to be in the same way. They are going to be in the same way. They are going to be in the same way. They are going to be in the same way. They Yes, we, we generally encourage that it's, it's discussed between the couple. But as I said, in our culture, it seems like when your fertility is taken away, what uh, are you doing? Netu ina nabami ya bajanu, nga nabachala tiba bagambi. Nabu ntubwa vasikto, nusa janga, kuhoye buli, kasewa mchala abeda za. So, <coughs> at Paris Stops, we do an average of 300 permanent methods every 300. month. 300? Yes, every A month. Year. Every month. Wait, choga abia serious? Eh, bachala baja. Koi, stop it. Abami Baja, Koi, stop it. For one reason or the other. Mm. And I think it's such a nice gift to give to your woman. Mumba Mumba, what about me to sing over here? I keep in anti. I do that. Dabana wa femukaga. Tuba mazi. Ata jagenda ata nikuto. Everybody is selfish. Yes. So, so really, way. if if kuba kumchala go to sawa kuna luto ni luto la bika waka. Mm. So abami banji Baja. Mm. Let me take the vasectomy. people think that when they have vasectomy, they will lose their manhood, but it is, mm. a, myth. It is a myth. In fact, I think you 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 do better. And you are in charge. <laughs> <laughs> you are in charge as a man. Okay. Yes. So so permanent methods they are available on offer. Full counselling. You know, sometimes you get a. For example, a 28-year-old woman in Ghana is in a gamma and the music side. Gamma need that you. Gamma money on a yamuni is that a money in book. Maybe I'm gonna give her what it is. Exactly, my God, you are still a bit young. Sleep on it. So we we advise. We don't hurry, uh, but it has to be voluntary. Um, chala, um, mami, um, babo, now um, but you know, quite sad Okay. Speaking of our mami, there's a two right. Vashite mtu nyingi za yuko ne kundala. Ntuguno kono omwana. Mbutu kwa ze seno. At least kweli to balance. Na yako ze seko. I know. Wakati abafumbo te batata kwa gala kondom. Ate vasectum is also on the extreme. It's permanent. Yes. So wachite wali yoku mpeke za gana mwami. Manda nge bachazi no nyele za basaya. Wachi zirudeo. Petuli wachi kula chia bachia. Bachazi no nyele. Kale mpiso. Part of it is, whereas uh, is a family thing and it's a community thing, mm. it is their personal responsibility. And, and many times when you leave it to 
the committee to decide for you really. You end up in a very difficult place. I think without discarding our family values, we need to empower women to know that this is their personal responsibility. It is their body, their choice, their future. So mm. they need to bargain for themselves where applicable, to get their husbands in, the family on board. Mm. <laughs> This is about you. So it's a woman's responsibility primarily. Mm. So if they can come on board, well it's fantastic. Yes. But if they are hesitant, we'll be tactful about it. It's okay. Mm. So tutu kaku kuzala. Mm. We've gone through the whole process. Orubuto turu mazeru utambu devulu unji. Tuka kukuzala. What are some of those things that we must pay uh, a lot of attention to? So I want to address, address this thing. I'm, I'm really addressing perhaps women in Kampala primarily. Oh, women across the board. But the thing is birth planning. Ingabo tuga atituwa gala luto lukugwe kogu. No kuzala kuleme kukola chi? Kugwa. Kugwa. you have nine months to prepare. come up with a plan. No, tegeka. You don't need a lot of money. It is often na hulimwe. It is often na kakebeko. No sula mu, no sula mu, no sala wo. Tidja kuzali da kumari stopsi. Tio tio. Kemu charging anyo. Kumari stopsi. Charging anyo. Charging anyo. Charging anyo. Charging anyo. Charging anyo. Million nga china. Ok, nga bidi. Manye na kuzina amaluwa alio gali mbuzivu kubia charging. Na ye, it is ngobu kulu is input. So teka mu uchi okusubolo kuo muntu service jia kola chi. Jieta. Gani bofuna haka basket ko. No take a musente zone pola and pola, no gain a mantinent as only mwezi, problems on animals anticipating uh, you should be able to have. So it's birth planning. Where will I have the baby? What method? Over na nafuna scissor bidding those anemi never scissor. No sala o man wo no musa won't it only work sala. Tia won't jagala ku gazes ha consi in the kewa domula scissor msa on a gamba chisovoka. Nacho no chimanya no manyan tika will start by trying to push, but if things go haywire. So it's about birth planning. And, and if you have, a, which you get through antenatal. So if you have a concrete birth plan, then delivery should be generally easy. I think the, the Ministry of Health government of Uganda has done a good job increasing the options for delivery. Mm. And, and this is part of the reason that for us, as Mary Stops, we've decided to step into this this uh, this space. Abachala bazala, tuchala abana bafemanji. So the, the thing is to plan within your economic category. No tege kampula mpula. No bango mani uono zali. Kati muabaze na muteka ane duwali no mubifebili posh. Kati feba mufuna mpula. Tuna asobola. Muja kusobola. Kati duwali no muli kore debali abanene. Then vetu sigale mo kire next is afuji to bad to be. Siwe chidi. Um, Finger Mary stops. Our child about money. You've been here looking after them for 30 years. It's not so much about Mufuna Nyo as it is the average woman. Um, at Tulina partnerships with the, the average woman again, now called Angaku NTV, Nibamusasula, Nibamua health benefits, mm. insurance. That's a lot of our corporate women. Mm. We are partnering with the corporate companies to make sure that happens. Our child about Tenda Centenian, you know, Twina packages. So kula package ya no more delivery ya mtuwalo nga chinaana. No gama ati bulimwezi nja kuteka yo mtuwalo kumi. Tuwalo tukia mgomu samfundo nga wakabato zima zeyo. Mm. Hei, nguja nguzalo mwana. Nguja nguzalo mwana. Hei, ngugena. Yes, okay. Nguja nguzalo mwana. Nguja nguzalo mwana. Hei, ugeno kumala kuko. Actually, abageno kusoko kuzo yungi mbawa baby so. Hei, obwede. Mm. <laughs> so, abanda. Bwechiri. Bwechiri. Bwechiri, <laughs> Farid. No busuka. Yes, yeah, so, so wabela ne plan. I think you have time. You have time to put this together. Mm. Of course, COVID has made things a bit difficult now. They they have capacity to save to save slowly according to their birth plan. Mm. I mean, the, the experience of Okuzala should be decent. It, it should be memorable. And I think we can help you to afford it. OK. You talked about abortion management. What mm. is there now? The moment you want to go abortion, the first thing that comes to, my, to their mind. Mm. Abortion is but one abortion of the commonest wise. complications of pregnancy. Muruganda and is so common. So common. 
Oba chigenderede oba to chigenderede. Nefe nga haba sao, position ya fesi kubuza, guwa lujemu, guwa lukuza haa. Kuleamba omu. Kwa fe kuonya bulamu. So when you present to us with an abortion of some sort, incomplete, septic, wabitani sete vyawe, dea, wala benso, seka yuviti, whatever. Fete tubuza. Mm. Fete tubuza antichichi, choru utoru vamo, nga tutande chidao. And our goal is to save life. The most critical thing about abortion is when you finish saving life is to have the discussion about the reproductive plant. Mm. Mm? Maybe a family planning method. Mm -hmm. yes. family yes. But not no just family planning. Mm -hmm. every 16 weeks. Maybe they have a week cervix. And then you can give them the appropriate gynecological support. Maybe weeks is So it should be a conversation. And, and the goal should be to prevent a repeat abortion, okay. whatever the sort. Mm. It, should, the point should be to touch it down or touch it down. Okay. Abana bano, nadala abata abajanga abortions is the issue. I understand there are those who, whose journey ends there. Nata funa chance ya kudamu kufuna. Mm -hmm. I could of course get you either intentionally, I got that with Jemu, I'm good to go away, Taina Wabin and Yolambas at Deku Samuel, blah blah. Abamu, if not well managed, mm -hmm. it ends there. Now to Keno, Yaka Jaffin, I know your man, one and Abola. So that is why they should be running to you to manage it. Exactly. Movie Mukola, Mulmokutasa, uterus, for example, the tubes. Exactly. So, so there's. <laughs> Abortion is classified into unsafe, less safe, and least safe. Less safe? And least safe. Okay. <laughs> uh, most of these teenagers, they have the least safe. Again, and all of these things. And we do our best to clean up. Um, so, we have to Yes, because. So, a good morning. Yes, my body in your comments, which are in effect, Dr. Carol Sechimpi, country director, Maristops Uganda, Gutuli Naye. Maristops Barudonga, our Empereza, Monsonga is Okuzala, is a family planning, managing abortions, and all that. So, recently, but and say it wide. Thank you. Mugena, who? First thing, Okuzala. Somebody's asking, it's a gentleman. Mm. I was really worried, Agamba. My girlfriend says she's five months pregnant and four months back. Yet four months back, she was operated on fibroids. Is it true? Because she even sent me images of the scan, and it is true. Uh, if it is true, will she be able to have a successful delivery? It's a, it's a good one. I think there are two pieces to this question. One, is it true? Is mm. it possible? Mm. And, and the second one, will she be successful? And uh, I think anything is possible. There's been serious advances in, in science. Matuakola vula paroscopic surgery, kafito sak na kalikoli na ataka kuata ko na kuata ko fibroid yonaji jamu sochi soboka. Is it possible for have to have a successful delivery antenatal care? Musigare no msao wa mwe, mwe kuate, aba kebele kogu naku, you know, so that you monitor closely anticipate challenges and intervene when necessary. You know, when a Uganda, um, or to cut 28 weeks, or you want to go to work with the whales, akula. So just monitor closely and walk the journey uh, with your spouse. Okay. All of these things are possible. He's worried, those are the times that chicken is anti and cousins of gold, whatever the morong was, and baby now said. She's a worker. You know, he's a poor long was one month. Especially over what to know that ever color, but when over to our man, you know, carry. Now, tell about gamba and tea bobo in a fibroids and you get pregnant, the pressure baby jagging at the makes the thing shrink. Nature gained that true, false. So, so for it, the, the, the discussion on fibroids is a whole day's discussion. There's so much myths and misconceptions around fibroids. 
um, abachara when you look into the uterus, you we call them myomas in, in science. You find one or two myomas in the abdomen, and the pro extent of the problem is variable from one woman to another. Some women have such big fibroids, they look like they are six months pregnant, others have small ones, others have intermediate. So, uh, uh, what I would say about fibroids, and you know, I want to when you have these all things. sorts of things. Exactly. But there is a population in Uganda, yeah. so they will do things to you that you don't understand. Or exactly. But to a Hippocratic oath, and, and our oath is to do no harm and to preserve life. The life of the person in front of you is critical. So what I would say on fibroids is labo musawo omote ndeke. Ajaku handlinga ngabu wole ndi ayo Yes, fibroids zote zifa anagana zoli. The general science is the same, but the extent of the problem is variable. And and abambabe taga sajari, abalala abambabe bagama. Walo katifu, babajara bakulu wagani, fwe bagama, ah, hii nda menopause ili kumpi kutuka. You know, so it's different interventions. Tuma menopause kwe tuka azigenda. Yes, because they are a hormonal tumor. Chifidinga ku estro estrogen. So once the hormones are down, it also tends to shrink. So fibroids, see your doctor. Mm. See your doctor and understand and walk your individual journey. And I think it, th that journey is really unique for every woman. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let me see. Somebody else is asking um, how long, I mean, blocked tubes, zikole wako zitia. Do you handle? Yes, so block tubes is uh, is also another conundrum, but broadly speaking, is uh, that evaluation for identifying uh, the cause of infertility. If they zero down on block tubes, usually they do what they call a tube wash. But they don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but then also there are lots of, of advances in pain control. Yeah. Yeah, there are lots of things they can give you to help. For some women, one wash. Other women, multiple washes. But it's again the full evaluation. When you have blocked tubes, you have to block tubes. So a proper evaluation for the cause of, of uh, infertility mm. is what's most critical. And again, to try and work with uh, Basawa Batende Kekonsonga, you know. Mm. And, and I think because it's a very pertinent uh, issue to women, they, they decide, you know, the, the best uh, intervention. But the, the most appropriate thing would be to walk, find a physician, a, an obstetrician gynecologist, and walk the journey with them. And also, doctor hoping is problematic. Because you start from the beginning. You, you know, you have to tell your story all uh, you know, again. So for, for me, my personal philosophy with infertility, and I learned this from a friend of mine, is Abanatebagana. Hmm. Children don't, you know, fertility tegana, most times it is delayed. So walk your journey. <laughs> <laughs> you walk your journey and walk it at your pace and, and be diligent and be consistent. But okay. try and walk it with a medical professional. Gabo Saba. Gabo Saba. Yes, come here, Gabo Saba. Okay. Doesn't matter how much sex you play. No. I mean, there's, there's a minimum requirement for sex because for a fertility to happen, the, the sperm must meet the egg. And as I said, in some cases, the thing is just timing. Each time you are around day 14 of your cycle, all of these things. So a full evaluation, it may be just timing, and that's your problem. No, <laughs> 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 yes. Okay, after, uh, after miscarriage, it takes how long? How long does it take to conceive again? And do I need to cleanse to be able to get another pregnancy? No, um, we, we consider fertility to return immediately okay. after a miscarriage, immediately. Uh, or, it, or it depends on what caused the miscarriage. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Omchala uh, wavamo ruto lero, nakole wako vurunji, and uh, I hope it's the, the so-called cleansing is kukole wako during the process of uh, miscarriage, or what we call post-abortion care. Mm. So once that is done, you can conceive immediately. And that's why it is critical in the case of unplanned pregnancy 
omuto buta fuluma mu facility mu afuni de post abortion care without a conversation on contraception because next week asubolo kuda ngalu ngalu bude eh ngali no lulala ngalu bude mu lero anti mu maliriza luno bajje mu lero bolu bude mu lero then two weeks na dangale so lulala so fertility returns immediately you, you cannot take it for granted mm. fertility returns immediately that's why the the conversation on the long term plan must be had in order to achieve that bade mwe mbuto baina chances za mnyenye kudamo kufuna lulala okusinga no nata nalufona i don't think that's scientific the their fertility is baseline ngabwe yali ruli byafuna olwa soka bwa bichiri nti ajja kufuna no lulala but as i said also the average uganda woman is really quite fertile hmm. okay i have a female friend uh, she has issues with conceiving 110 kgs she's in need of a baby and would like to know if it's possible to help her again it is possible for every woman uh, but she has to go and get the full evaluation being overweight doesn't help uh, but sometimes there are other underlying uh, things to being overweight always babilane polycystic ovarian syndrome babilane mm. uh, some other things they, they could be diabetic you know things that are contributing to you know that show us weight you know, being overweight, you know, they have other underlying issues. So again, my advice would be keep hope. It is possible for every woman. Get a full evaluation mm. and then walk your journey, preferably with a professional. So I'm a server man. Is there a way it can stop me from conceiving? That is not scientific, that being fat or, or being big is going to prevent you from conceiving. But the other way around, that being uh, overweight may be a symptom of other issues that could contribute to your difficulty okay. in, in conceiving. So, so that's why you need to have the full evaluation to make sure that Nsongoji too is safe. Okay, good morning. Um, Mary, I've been using an IG, uh, IUD for three years. Back, uh, okay, those are since three years back. Mm. I went and removed it two months ago. Then I began feeling much pain in the ovaries. I had to go to the hospital and they told me I, I have wounds in the ovaries which can even affect my getting pregnant. What can I do? Because right now I'm on treatment, but I don't know whether I'll get pregnant. I'm 29 years. Oh. What's her wounds. name? She's Mary. Mary, sorry, <laughs> you have had a nasty experience. Uh, first of all, the IUD does not reach the ovary. When you think about the anatomy of, of a woman, IUD etulao in the fundus Service. of the uterus. Uterus munda. Because the ovary or it tube no took awalichi, awali ovary, mm -hmm. IUD there wano. So your IUD really has nothing to do with, uh, with your ovary. So I, I would say that what you're experiencing really has nothing to do with the fact that you recently removed your IUD. And again I would encourage you to have a full evaluation. It is not very scientific for me, the comment on wounds on the ovary. Mm. Uh, those are not things that we tend Diagnosis that was over ten decades to make, so I don't know where she went, but I would encourage you to come, come to our hospital at Mary Stops. so that they help you mm. to get to the bottom of the problem. So far, the the, the diagnosis doesn't sound very scientific. Mm. I had to go to a hospital, and they told me I have wounds in the ovaries. No, uh, I think you know we see what they call cysts in the ovary. Maybe that's what she's talking about. The, the cysts but cysts in the ovary is it a pain? too much pain yes sometimes when the cyst is big you you can have some pain pressure pain mm. uh, but it has nothing to do with your Bazirongo. your method probably cysts yes they are probably cysts mm. and uh, well the, the critical th point for me to make is that it has nothing to do with, with the iud, IUD. yeah uh, cystic ovaries can give you some challenges in uh, fertility but there are ways around it and again my recommendation would be to to walk the journey with your gynecologist. Okay. IUD engageri mbo ingira koko uterus. I think ngena nendo za uterus is a very very uh, special organ. They look with a very much protected. So if you can get a kameto no kaingiza ne kaituka ne katula ku uterus say manda walwo issue. It can cause something over the what day. The the first thing I have the fact that it's a kameto. Yes, I manya was saw bantu you know, sometimes they feel like we remove ourselves from medicine. Mm. But as I answer this question, first of all, is to say that me, I'm a proud user of the IUD. I used it. I've been before. married 18 years. I have chosen when to have all of my four children. 
and it's because of what we call the humble IUD. Now, the uterus is a muscle. It's a muscular organ. Mm. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a muscular, and it's a very dynamic organ. You know, when it is, uh, yeah, when it's not pregnant, it is, it is really small. These methods have been researched, and, and what the uterus, the, the IUD does, it just comes and sits in the fundus, in mkaspesa, in a space. Mm. And what it does is literally provide the barrier, so that it can't meet, meet the sperm. So these things have been studied over the years. The, the IUD is absolutely safe. And in fact, for me, it's my personal cry to women to consider it more. It is such a good method. It is non-hormonal. When you remove it, fertility returns. Uh, it returns instantly. I think challenge we have so much information and a lot of misinformation. Mm. So information overload, which is getting more information that you are qualified to interpret, and then misinformation. So that's a challenge. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So they prescribe their own medicine yes. on Google. Yes. Google yes. yagambe what? Ne wagele womsao eventually. Yeah, well you get an IMO consultation room nga aku cross referencing aku Google. Mm. And that is really problematic. And I think it is good to be informed. But your health is your health. You have one life. Or you know kwe sigaba sao. Funa yo msao gawe siga. Otamule na yechi. Even the information on Google was put there by doctors. Not necessarily. Not necessarily, because you know, when you go for so when you go into Google, you just say IUD, there'll be all sorts of things, mm. but then there are some other, you know, some other sites that are more specialized. And then the question is, when you go to the specialized sites, are you qualified to interpret the information that you find there? Uh, and by the way, those sites, back when I keep actually general, and we're going to say, all looks at you as you, Farid. exactly. And, and the interpretation is critical, so I think it's really good to be informed. Otherwise, usually you get problems. Mm. Okay, what was I? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, a demo again, the So that she can find, you know, she can get profile. Yes, they, sometimes they need an operation. Sometimes they come in as an emergency. And they address that. Sometimes they're not in so much pain. They manage conservatively. Mm. Uh, uh, but they should profile her and understand what her challenge is. Also, mm. um, child, oh, your two months of trying to get pregnant does not add to infertility. It's too early for her to call the shots on herself. She mm. needs to keep trying. Okay. Can you prepare a mother to have twin pregnancies? A twin pregnancy? And if yes, when should I come? <laughs> She's so ready. Oh my God, that, <laughs> that's quite interesting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, from Waki, so. Hey. Hey. I tell you, I got a lot of money. I think you're going to display our contact center number, our Kubesimu, mm. our appointment, uh, and then we do a full, uh, a full review. Gabo to Gami and Songa Zuno Muchara, Kumuchara, Sichacho, a jet to taste. Okay. I can't say it. 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 I can't say is a client's blood group also related anywhere in giving a family planning method? That no, is one. The, the blood group is relevant to our choice of a family planning method, but it is very relevant during labor and delivery. We all go to the first thing we screen is your blood group and recess factor, because you know, uh, recess incompatibility is a common complication. No one is choosing a method. No, mm. no, it's not. What about the hormonal methods? Zimogeza. Zimulate skin outbreak. Zimulate even to a danger or Zimulate. But in Baden Dose and Tiova Umchara Banga, Umbidi Begu, Guina Risque, Yoku Gaja, Enyo, and Tio Mumugamba. I think this will make your problem worse. 
but but it's not it has nothing to do with the blood group again it would be to say maybe you shouldn't go for a hormonal method mm. so the blood groups are, are the standard o a b eh blood group blood group it's an extrapolation that that is not scientific okay can a mother start family planning immediately after birth Yes, we would recommend uh, during the birth planning period during antenatal that we discuss your reproductive goals. And then when you have your baby, would like to do the family planning. There's what we call the immediate postpartum. So ano kuzali sa baby ni tumuteka wali ni ka ayudi ni tukateka yu gino kusivula. Ngo kozechi, ngo liset. Most women in our culture wagala kuleba ku period de soka. And that's going to return anywhere between six and eight weeks after the baby. You can take your family planning method. Um, <laughs> and, and of course, the, the other consideration is methods which uh, some methods interfere with breastfeeding, others don't. Mm. So we would be mindful to make sure that we give you a method that enables you to breastfeed your child. Okay, I think that is. I think you know. Okay. After what period of months should a lactating mother start family planning? A lactating mother should be on family planning. Even before she leaves hospital? Yes. Uh, well, you... If you, if you can do it before you leave hospital, well and good. If you're one of those who feel you must see your period first, see it and then come. The general guidance is after a baby, fertility returns in six weeks. Baby, Now, there's the understanding of lactation amenorrhea as a method of family planning. True, single yonsa is dollar. Exclusive. You know, you're not fully covered. Lactation amenorrhea works on you with your baby all the time and they're breastfeeding only. I think that it's a good method, but we can do better mm. because you really want to be in charge of your fertility. Okay. I had an injection in January for three months, but I have spent two months without conceiving. Though per now, I have missed my periods of this month. Is there a possibility that I finally conceived because I want to conceive? Because there are now six days of I've not seen my few. Okay, you should come and we check. <laughs> should come for the first <laughs> end, see? <laughs> first for the first antenatal visit. <laughs> as we said. Guy, young we. Mm, and that's the thing I was telling you, that it's variable for mm. women. She the took moment. it in January for three months. For that's three up months, to April. April, May, June, July. It uh, should be about time that fertility returns. Okay. That was one of the other three months. Mm. Oh, she's a typical Ugandan woman, yeah. very fertile. It, it's really variable. So mm. please, totula. Mm. Don't wait for a month or in the period of that. Go I see a forest mold. Okay. I last had my period on the 18th of May, and I had them again on 7th July. Mm. Junior Jivuka. Weeks. Mm. Uh, yes, Junior Jivuka. Mm. And it was only a day after I had missed a period, a month. Mm. Okay. And I had terrible pain beyond crumbs. I kept having pain, and when it did happen, my breathing was difficult. Okay, and the pain felt like trying to push, to push out through my, through my behind and in front. <laughs> and that happened the day I was given medication of typhoid. And when there are so many ands here, mm. I'm just going to read mm. as is. And it's the very day I got the peas on July 7th. Although up to now, I'm having cramps. And when I checked for pregnancy, it's been negative for three times now. So when I talked to my gynae, he said, we should do an transvaginal ultrasound. But I remember to, uh, I last had, I remember to last had an emergency pill in April. I'm truly worried what, would be the problem. Or Bijukida. <laughs> Basically, she, she missed a period and, and she probably thought she'd conceived mm. and, and then after the period came, but she has residual pain. Mm. Um, 
Irregular periods are common for multiplicity of reasons. Every missed period is not necessarily a pregnancy. Mm. A missed period should be verified to find out, am I pregnant or am I not pregnant? What she called a, a period could have been an abortion and one that could have been either complete or you know, incomplete and that could explain the persistent pains. Mm. Or it could have been a normal period in the missing or just. So uh, a transvaginal ultrasound would be brilliant uh, to understand the status of the contents. So I having abortion in a normal If it's incomplete. So abortion can be complete or incomplete. Incomplete we are not even or gender or incomplete must be gas gala more wound to be causing a pain. Mm the fit are still viable. I told you or you move on to they could cause pain, they could cause spotting, mm. and they, they can really give you infections. Uh, over time. Uh, one month uh, fetus, a bit of embryo, a bit of embryo. Yes, they are they are embryos. They are really small. Tell you can we see like blood? Like but it can, can be incomplete. It can period. still be incomplete. It can still be incomplete and they are killers. And then there is where she talks about um, difficult breathing was difficult and the pain felt like trying to push through my <laughs> that's a long it. story uh, but the the difficult breathing at the lungs lungs you see these are really different systems but maybe she was in a lot of pain we have the transvaginal ultrasound at first more i would encourage her to come so scan or so that you can really have a good look uh, you pass the scope so you can have a good look Okay. Um, so she just needs to have a full evaluation. And it goes back to what we've been saying, Farid. Mm. Your fertility is critical, your, your health is critical. Mm. So whereas you have your suspicions, I would encourage you to see a doctor and, and try and follow doctor instructions. Okay. We have three kids spaced by one and a half years. We decided to go for family planning and went for IUD. It's now two months, but I have seen my periods four times. Yet before, my life cycle was 28 days. Is this normal? Yes, it is normal. Um, I don't know when the IUD was inserted. Before it settles in, it could give you a bit of spotting. And again, what would be ideal is that you maintain contact with your, uh, with your provider so they can help you through this. Those are not periods, they're not for periods, we call it sporting. Mm. I never had it. Not everyone, but some people get it. Um, so the, the idea would be that you work with your health provider. We have treatments for that kind of sporting. Mm. And if it becomes intolerable, we can support you to change to a different method. Okay, so blood mm. is mm. You know, the way the uterus is, is structured, because I told you it's a muscle, we wrote a camo foreign body, you only move while you see the flumia. So, are you dear for work? I think about a cat a camo for cramps or look at a camo young and honey cocoa go over a yagala flumia. So, it takes time before it to accepts settle. it and settles. So, in that period is where you can get a lot of, of that spotting. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, good morning. I decided to get pregnant this year, but ever since I started, I'm getting negative results. Oh, and Yabana, I won't move my middle. Is that also candida? Yes, but I think the thing about candida, it's supposed to be a superficial infection. Superficial. It's supposed to be a But sometimes, the people who are not going to be candida, they are not going to be candida. They are not going to be infections together. Mm. So again, the best thing to do is go and have it swabbed. It's a problem. They are swabbing and they are not going to be able to there are other simple things that people do, like the use of panty liners, you know, keep it dry and clean. Hmm. Uh, Lucy, so the, the big thing is to make sure you're just dealing with candida. Uh, candida is not supposed to be a serious problem. Hmm. But it's very, very inconveniencing having to scratch your yourself. Are the kinds of people in a supermarket? Eh, uh, no. <laughs> 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 yeah. But there are treatments also, it's mm. also available. Uh, we better get it recurrent. You need to look in your environment and identify it. What I keep getting. 
you know, because the, that area is moist by nature. So you're supposed to have something that absorbs moisture. Hey. Cotton. Cotton. Put on a panty liner. You know, mother pant. They are being healthy. Mm. <laughs> so uh, there are a couple of things that you could do to improve your outcome. Okay. Now, Inga, Bwabanga, are you recurrent? If it's recurrent, recurrent usually, usually, so. usually, no. Usually it is the environment. It's the panties. It's the toilet that she so goes you're treating to. Treating her, but what you Yes, you're not changing the environment. So you need to address that. Okay. Um, this is Shakira Najib. I had a miscarriage last year around March uh, at one month. Now, up to now, no pregnancy. They, um, they used machines to clean me inside, but sometimes I think over it caused a negative effect on me. Thinking of head, I, I don't see what um, uh, cleaning you up after. People like to call it miscarriage. The scientific word is abortion. After an abortion uh, could have done to you unless you had complications. And if you had complications, your doctor should have spoken to you. But if your doctor didn't say such a thing, then I think you, you have every good chance to conceive again. Doctor has all called and so we know how get up because I'm just going to cause them problems. You see, in health facilities, at least the one that's, uh, that I run, there's joint accountability. Well, Dr. Munafe, we a goal to run this. to nursing officers. So, and you have to write the notes and be fully transparent with the patient. There are all those checks and balances. So, ideally, it's difficult to hide that you remove the woman's uterus. Mm. It's, it's very difficult. I think it's very uterus. I think it's very difficult. <laughs> you <laughs> should know at all about our consenting mechanism, you know. And if you're going to move the tube of organ, I'm a theater in uni. Maybe you'll see the box in Sana Co. I don't think that was her experience. Now, you're going to get a little kid in a one up on Gambia to manage to have a child on a grand or Kuzala change to Kuru. Again, I gave it a jet to Kevin first of all to love exactly what the issues are. She said she's 20. She no, um, tell you get the age 20 year old here. No, okay, but but just come and find out. But I, I don't think having had a miscarriage would be the reason that you're unable to have uh, another pregnancy. No worries, and if you may take a means of having a negative effect, I don't see how. Okay, I'm um, Smaya Nafuna miscarriage in 2020. I think it's the same story. Mm. And, and then the other thing about those one month miscarriages eh? uh, sometimes when women are desperate to conceive their period gets delayed for five days and they declare themselves pregnant without checking and then the period shows up a couple and of days and then they are miscarried yeah. and yet there was an infertility problem that has not been dealt with also so um, again get a full evaluation and, and don't treat yourself on google okay um, that i gave birth this year in april and it was a c-section unfortunately my baby died Aww. But doctor told me that it was fetus distress. Fetal now distress. I need a baby. Which time should I take to get pregnant again? I think the April this year. That is two months ago. Yeah, approximately. Okay. The general recommendation for post cesarean is, is they ask you to give time for the cesarean scar yeah. to heal. Yes, um, but you can also see from her. Mm -hmm. She feels that, you know, to, to go through her grieving process and, and begin to feel better, she wants to be pregnant again. So that's a very unique situation. Mm. Now, know your fetal distress was a full pregnancy. You are calling it Fetal so distress, yeah, she be Maybe a vayu nata kaba burunji, over that kind of thing. So you would need time for your cesarean scar because mm. there's a risk that you can rupture, rupture the uterus. Maybe a year at the mm. minimum, uh, but again, I would encourage you to walk that journey with your obstetrician. She needs people to talk to. Yes. Now, yeah, you're getting home sour, tumbling home sour away because they don't have a lot of money. Close monitoring. The good news is, fetal distress is not something that happens with pregnancy. It should be like that. Is, the C-section could have been an emergency. Then in intervening, maybe they intervened late. It goes back to our issues of attinento. Decision is C-section. Early, before that time. Yes, so that you don't risk. And you know, when labor onsets, so that they can monitor. And if they're monitoring, they should be able to pick up 
tendencies towards fetal distress before it is significant enough to kill the, the newborn and then they intervene. Okay. I was on family planning AMP so and in March I quit it. So that from that month up to now I'm still bleeding. I can't be March mm. to July. Mm. She's still bleeding. The doctor gave me pre molot. Pre molot, I know. Pre molot. Mm. Uh, and uh, to Primlot N mm. to stop the bleeding and it failed. Then I used do fast on. Okay, then I took it again mm. <laughs> and mm. it also failed. Now I'm using trans transamic mm. acid mm. plus Primlot N, but they work. Uh, they work, but after some time I bleed again. Mm. It's it's a very unfortunate um, situation she's having. I think she's not doing well with the hormonal withdrawal. Mm. Yes, and, and she's bleeding. And all of the drugs that she she has mentioned are options that we have for controlling bleeding. I don't know, but she sounds like she has stopped with the doctors. Yeah, doctor no, yeah, I would also encourage another evaluation if she doesn't feel that her doctor is doing well for her. Because mm. uh, there are many causes of bleeding. And, and there may be other issues. Okay. So, so is it common? Or could you yeah, her or experience is uncommon. Her experience is uncommon. That's why you'd like to evaluate and ensure mm. that there's no other reason that she's having that bleeding. Usually when they say bleeding, I, I get the sense that they mean spotting. They don't know sanga for blood. If she's bleeding out uh, seriously, all she should be anemic by now, mm. uh, which is another reason that she could use a full, um, a full evaluation. I would encourage her, because in the Dagaleri, or some of it is uh, of the inside family, it can erode your stomach. I think I know from a problem, PIA ulcers. I don't know what dosages she's taking. So she really does need support. Get her go to Kebeda to rule out any other problem. And then she can work with the professionals on, on getting it under control. Okay. This may be a little unrelated. I'm not sure. Does Maristops offer services like spam donation, both selling and buying? as well surrogacy services. I ask because I know someone who wants to have children by surrogacy with either their own sperm or donated sperm, stroke ovaries. Also, is this possible in Uganda? Yeah, so, so it's a very, very interesting question and, and it shows you how far the, the issues of management of infertility have advanced. Mm. I'm aware that uh, surrogacy is being done in this country. I am aware uh, that there are donations for both egg and sperm. Mm. Uh, we are not doing it at Maristops right now, but we can refer you where we know it's being done. So give us a call. Okay. At the end of the show. So and then I walk into a hospital, maybe call a call. Mm. And they pay me. Mm. So it's a job. And that is a magic job. Can no to lead up on all it's a whole legal process, but there are, there are some facilities here in this country which are set up to, to manage that, so we can refer you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, if, so why is somebody calling me now? If I have checked and advised to do, if I've been checked and advised to do IVF, how much can, can, how much? Does it cost? Do you have counseling services for barren women? How much other services? So we have counseling services, and, and I will not give you an absolute figure for the cost of IVF. But, but you do it, I'm not Yes, but I will say that IVF is a long journey, and it's a costly journey. Some people, when they hear IVF, they think you just walk in, get, and go. What is long about this journey? So if we Mukakasa, okay, her uterus is, is okay, she can carry. Mr. Man, give us the sperm. Madam, we want the ovary. And put in. Then mm. I carry like any other normal no. woman. Uh, if there's assessing you, um, <laughs> if your uterus is incompetent, they will not put embryo in it. Then there's preparing you. Mm. There are changes you go through. Mm. So those changes have to be induced artificially. We saw the monitoring, then eventually they bring the sperm and egg that have been prepared in vitro, then they put in, and then they continue monitoring. So it's a process. It's not just an event, mm -hmm. and, and it is not cheap. Um, so 
what I would encourage you is to give us a call and, and have the, the discussion in, in detail. I, there's a lot more IVF use in, mm. in this country, I have observed over the last couple of years, but also we hear a lot more cases of infertility. But my caveat to this is that not every infertility is treated with, with IVF. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but you need to have your, your, your evaluation so that you can know uh, exactly what works for you. Okay. Uh, she was on contraceptive for four years. And now she has, she's got three miscarriages in a period of one, and one year and a half. Her last born of the two is 10 years. She has two. She had two, then went on, co on IEDF, mm. I IUD. That's mm. <laughs> for F. Mm. Yeah, UPDF. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then she was on it for four years. Najayo, Katia Kafuna, three miscarriages. Mama Kaguna, she told me. One of her other for is 10 years. Mm. Uh, what could be the problem? She needs to go and get assessed. It would be nice to understand when the miscarriages are happening. Uh, it sounds like the other case I told you of the recurrent miscarriages uh, in the mid trimester, mm. uh, incompetent cervix. Mm. Uh, how good is her hormonal response to, to support the pregnancy? So, a chokuba that she has had an IUD in the past it would be the list of her worries uh, from the way I see it. What I would encourage her is to get a full evaluation. Nino na na hata yeye abadu wamu kwa sababu na guzza kwa wateni yas abadu do kuzalenga ba ba kaluvivo kuzza kwa that bit with the IUD that fertility returns immediately because so it's non hormonal. So I can hormonal. Wabadu you can go fix an IUD no jam after two weeks. No no no. So if if the method of spacing she has used for the ten years is the IUD, chichungu ni cha yonte ni non hormonal. Oruji jayo. Go funi na. That afternoon you could get pregnant. But she's, re she's having recurrent miscarriages, so now right. she needs to look at why. Why the miscarriage? Is it that she has an incompetent cervix? Is that she's at what stage? She at what paid. stage, yes. She's so she needs a full evaluation, and I would encourage her to move away from the fact that she's had contraception as a possible reason for mm. her miscarriages, so that she gets a proper, uh, have a, good, a bigger picture. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, I have my stepsister who aborted twice last year at the age of 19, yet her mother had issues of convincing, conceiving. conceiving. I want to say con it was I think it's a conceiving. Because mm. the, the one she follows is a born of 96 and her, 2001, and their grandmother, uh, and their grandma on their mom's side. <laughs> But <laughs> also, <laughs> Afulaga history mm. also has produced only one child, and that's my stepmom. Mm. So what's the worry? I think that the worry is whether infertility is familial, <laughs> 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 or the, the fact that well, it appears like that person she's referring to is not going to have fertility challenges if she's carrying out abortions. No, sir. About a year again, therefore, without protection, yeah. thinking she has the same issue with uh, her well, mother, surprised. grandma. <laughs> Well, I hope she's, her, her abortions are safe because if they are not safe, they can actually uh, put you in a situation when you are, were unable to, to have, uh, co you know, babies going forward. Mm. Um, yeah, and of course, recurrent abortion is, is really not a good uh, okay, thing. Okay, let's encourage her to go on to a family planning go method. Go to a method and, you know, so that when you're ready. Mm. Uh, but, but... <laughs> Infertility is not necessarily familiar, that your grandmother, your mother, and it's not necessarily familiar. There could be some conditions that run in families, but it looks like for this particular girl, she skipped. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I had an abortion two years back, but it was successful. Two years back, it was successful, but I failed to conceive again. How can I be um, helped? Same story. Get evaluated, find out the cause of infertility. Okay, can a mother three months breastfeeding have, okay, okay, have not yet received her peas? Okay, in those agama, is it possible after three months of, of childbirth to never have mm. peas? <laughs> Again, Maybe she's breastfeeding quite can a she bit. Go for, can she go for family planning? Yes, she can. We will give her a method that doesn't interfere with breastfeeding. Okay. 
I had a miscarriage in April and got pregnant again in June, then miscarried. All these start with bleeding for a few days. When I scanned after the doctor said I have an Nabothian cyst, mm. uh, 10 me millimeters I mm -hmm. think. Mm. diameter in the cervical region. Doctor, can this be the cause of the miscarriages? Please advise. So, I mean, the fact that their doctor pointed it out mm -hmm. uh, could be a, a, an issue. But I think the, the, the common theme in all the questions we're getting, Farida, mm -hmm. is Abachala Babeku Gugu. Abachala Batamburu Gendoruno. Individually? Individually, with their. Well, you mean you can talk about things peer support, but in terms of the intervention, you have to work with. Uh, with your physician like the information she gives me is not enough for me mm. to give her and I think it's the right thing for me to do to not say mm. this is where <laughs> this is what your challenge was out. yes she needs a full assessment to understand what the issue was abortion is not a good thing um, but if it is done safely it shouldn't ideally affect your chances of uh, pregnancy going forward so because uh, of a child when they get miscarriages uh, some some you know, some feel stigmatized, some feel like, eh, <laughs> mm. you know, so, so, so I hear that coming up a lot. I, I, you know, I discouraged so many years ago now. So, but if you have visited the health facility, got good quality post-abortion care, ideally, you should be able to continue your reproductive journey like any other woman. Okay. Uh, my name is Hannah, and I had a miscarriage in March, which was at six weeks. I went through several scans which even included an endovaginal one to mm. confirm the viability of the pregnancy, which actually confirmed that it wasn't a viable, and I got a post-abortion care. In June, I confirmed with an HCG test to be pregnant again. Now, I, would dis I had decided to go for antenatal visits when I'm like five months. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Can you imagine? Mm -mm. Okay, because of the many scans I went through, I started folic acid immediately when I realized I was positive. Now I've had the doctor stressing the fact of weight and of eight antenatal vests. Please help me if I must. You must. You must give her the number. Let her call and get an appointment. It's never too late, but you're late. Yeah. Five months. Yeah. Rid of your miscarriages. Yes. Meaning you're putting It's a good thing she's rest. doing um, folic. Mm. But she doesn't know where her pregnancy is. She, we have many other screening tests that we do. There's the TPM for prevention of malaria. There's so much that we do in ANC. Um, we encourage her to come, to come and get reviewed. Okay. Um, good morning. I gave birth to my second child, and she's now four years. But since then, I have never seen my peas again. Mm. I've tried to check. I've tried checkups from clinic, from Kess Clinic, and then recently Mary stops around Makere Kable, where we had checkups, and I was told my hormones are not balanced. I uh, was given some medication, after which I got my periods for a week and later stopped. That's since February up to now. Please advise me on. She didn't actually tell us how old she is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it, it, would, it, would, it, would, it would be interesting to know how, how old she is because uh, the menopause will hit anywhere from 45 upward, some women even earlier. Mm. Uh, but there are treatments for menopause depending on the symptoms you're seeing. And in her question, it wasn't clear whether she's now stressing to be able to get another pregnancy or she's... Uh, she's worried. As a woman, she expects her peas. And it's a quite to come age of menopause. Mm. But also, our menopause knows that you the bleeding stops completely. Mm. And for her, she bled for a week and mm. didn't come back. Mm. She, she, she's obviously being evaluated because it seems like they told her her hormones uh, mm. are and down. Unbalanced. Yeah, She just needs to continue on that journey and, and they'll make the diagnosis whether it's an early, a case of early menopause or Do you balance reason. hormones? Well, uh, it depends on, on the person's goals. Mm. Um, for menopause, the goal is to minimize the symptoms of menopause. Mm. So, you know, dry skin, falling hair, heat flashes, and, and all of that. Uh, there are multiple things you could do, including a bit of hormonal supplementation. It has its pros and cons. Um, so, again, I would encourage uh, 
the person to visit the health facility and, and get full assessment uh, so that they can see. Uh, I think for her, she's on the right track, hmm. but she needs to continue um, with, the, with her health provider then they can come to a conclusion. And for some of these things, when you visit the health facility on day one, you may not get um, the total answer. Mm. Uh, it may require a couple of subsequent visits because the, your health worker has to observe. Yeah, so I would encourage her to remain with, with uh, her health worker and, and then we can see where she ends up. Okay. What does it mean when a doctor says you have, you have, a, heart, you have a damaged uterus or a heart-shaped uterus? Can one conceive in that situation? It would be difficult. I think a, a heart-shaped uterus is a, it's an anatomical defect. So the uterus is supposed to be oval? Uh, there are like this. So it's flat on top and it's, uh, you see the, the, the circle in here? Mm. That's, that's like the shape of the uterus. Yeah, but for but some shaped a bit, yeah. For some women, Baveda, instead of having like a nice, uh, you see the hole is what I'm trying to show you. Mm. If you instead of having a nice cavity in there, <laughs> yes, and it's anatomical defect. Mm. It's an anatomical defect. It's, it's difficult. Um, but yeah, again, I would encourage her to walk the journey with her health, with her doctor. So doctor. in that case? Again, opting up other, other options, surrogacy, surrogacy. adoption. Because even IUV, it, it will be difficult because the anatomy of the uterus is not friendly for holding a life. Yes, peste more because it's supposed to be nice like this category. It can be a little bit of a challenge. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm missing the limbs because they couldn't grow. Well, missing limbs is a, a whole other thing. It can be what would be or lots of things. But definitely, if there's a there's a, a compromise in the cap, cap, cavity or mana wali no kulida, it could affect the anatomical outcome mm. of the fetus. Okay, I'm scared of going to hospital because of COVID. I fear it affects pregnant uh, pregnant women more. Mm. I think I'm three to four months pregnant but I'm taking pregnant care from home. I hope that's okay for now. Um, yes, uh, the fear is really valid that uh, there's a lot of COVID, mm. uh, but as we started by saying, uh, pregnant women are particularly susceptible to COVID and, and the solution is not staying away, mm. but the solution is getting your ANC and remaining in touch. Um, our health facility at Forest Mall is focused on women and and so unlike your regular health facility where there's everything else, mm. there's a bit of focus here. So you could feel safe walking in there because you will not have a lot of the mainstream COVID, uh, COVID treatment. And the other thing is that once you make contact with the health worker, then they can follow up remotely. You mm. know, they can call you up and monitor you, but at least you need to make contact so that they can um, ensure that you're okay as a pregnancy grows. Okay. You focus on women. Does it mean men? Men, men. Can Everyone else is welcome. It's in reproduction. In, yes. But other diseases, no. No, other diseases, yes, outpatient level. Everyone is welcome at the outpatient level. But when it becomes inpatient in theaters, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're focusing on women and their issues. Okay. Help me ask myself. I'm of blood group B negative with two kids. I always get my RHD injection after birth. It's past five years now, but I'm worried. I'm a bit worried about the second pregnancy, which I'm preparing for soon. Mm, it, it's a valid worry that she mm. has. Um, am I supposed to get that injection twice, or it has no effect since I got it uh, after my first birth? I think you get it for each birth. Um, it is a valid concern. Um, she, she needs to walk a very tight journey mm. with her uh, obstetrician gynecologist probably starting the journey before she even conceives because there's a valid risk around uh, recess incompatibility. Mm. Mm. Okay, I think that's it for now. Mm. You guys can actually take those services to those yes. early stuck in, mm. in, in homes and communities. Uh, there's a hotline. Hotline Yes, it's, it's toll free. Okay, you can call zero Eight zero zero. Please, I hope you have a pen. 
800 22 03 and 33 in the Okay. Bidi bidi zero satu satu satu. Eyo, any time at SCX as we are watching Triple two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> zero eight zero zero twenty two zero three and thirty three. Then also you can reach them via WhatsApp because zero seven five four zero zero fifteen zero three. I'll read that again. Zero Tano. I mean zero Musambu Tano nya zero zero Komina Tano and zero Sato. That is how to reach marriage stops. Back to Gezaza, Rubaba Deva Kola, Badilinga clinics. Those clinics are still there. You're not Yaziri, Jova does or receiving our services. But now they have a hospital. Katiba Zaza, Abachala, Bagabani services, and that is on Na, Ezekusa, Kubio Kuzara, including I.